Hey there, this is Summer Rain Oaks, and I am in Comalapa, Guatemala. Came here to do an environmental fellowship, and then my friend Paul happened to actually be here as well. He's been working with the Earth ships for the past four years, um, which you'll find out uh, what they are pretty soon. Uh, but basically, they're self sustaining homes, and they're building one here in Comalapa for. A Guatemalan family, they've actually already built one and they're building their second and hoping to create like a little city of, of earth chips here. Um, which if you can imagine, if it's you're living in a self-sustaining structure, then you don't have to um, provi <coughs> provide for um, money for energy or, uh, or for your waste management or even for your food. So um, this is quite revolutionary in a place like this. And uh, you'll see a little bit more about it soon. Right. Yeah, so the idea is, I mean, the main building block of the building is a rammed earth tire. And, um, you know, when you st when you inflate a tire, essentially, with earth, it turns into a 300-pound brick. You know, it's like an adobe brick. And that's going to hold temperature. During the day, it's going to heat up. When the sun comes in, it's going to cook that thermal battery, which, which are the tires that create that from the wall. And then at nighttime, you know, the tire has now established a certain temperature. At nighttime, when it cools down, it's going to start leaching that temperature into the living space. And, and regula essentially regulating the temperature inside your house. So in addition to that, the house is burned in the back with a lot of earth. It's kind of like a half buried, you know, hobbit situation. And um, the, the um, what do they call it? The ambient temperature of the earth is uh, around 58, 60 degrees. And so you're gonna draw from that and that's immediately gonna stabilize your living space. You know, even if it gets really cold outside, you're nestled in the, the temperature of the, of the earth. Um, and then you boost from there with solar gain during the day. What drew you to Earth Chips? How do you, if you're not, you know, rich or have tremendous resources at your disposal, how do you create a life that's where you can provide for your basic needs, you know what I mean, uh, water and food and like a comfortable living situation, and, and not have to, you know, uh, be running around in a... In a and uh, what do you call those things? A hamster wheel? Yeah, a hamster wheel. So, you know, inertia is, is a step in that direction of, of freeing yourself up from the monetary burdens and not having to, like, pay a grocery store for all of your food. Or not having to pay a utility company for your heating or power. Or not having to pay municipal sewage um, uh, taxes or whatever. So it's a it's a way to become more and more sovereign, more independent, and I I resonate with that because I just want to you know again like I, me and pretty much everybody I know would like to wake up in the morning and do what they're inspired to do rather than be grinding for some money that you have to pay just to survive.